Hey guys, this is Arjdeep here and today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the S7's game launcher feature on your Samsung Galaxy S6 or even Note 5. I'm not sure that it will work on other Samsung devices or not, but I'm sure that it will work on the S6 and the Note 5. Here I am having S6 running on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. So before proceeding, you have to make sure that your phone is rooted and you have flashed custom recovery on it. If you are not rooted nor you have custom recovery, you can check out my video on that. I leave the link in the description or you can click on the card right now. So without any further delay, let's get started. Now go to the link given in the description and uh, download a zip file. After that you have downloaded that zip file, power off your phone and uh, boot it into the recovery mode. You have to press and hold volume up, home and power key at the same time. And you can now let the power button go. And now you are in the custom recovery. You have to go to the install and you have to search for file that you have just downloaded. Here is the S7 game launcher dot zip. Click on it and swipe to confirm flash. Now when it's done, you can click on reboot to system. Now friends, if your uh, phone is stuck like this, nothing works. Now you can go back and click on the screen. You have to press and hold all the keys on your S6 or Note 5 at the same time like here I'm going to do and now when you do this your phone will automatically restart so now friends when your phone is booted go to the apps section open up any game that you have and now you can see that it says introducing game tools what you have to do is to click on enable and uh, click on I agree and confirm. Now if you go back and uh, open up any other game, you have this game tools feature over here. I don't know why but the game launcher isn't showing up but it was installed. But anyway uh, you still have this game tools feature which is really really nice you can minimize the games take screenshot record the game or you can enable no alert during games now if you try to enable it it will say that you need uh, to go to notification panel and give permissions to it so when you do it head back and open it you can see that uh, no alerts will be enabled so that's enough for this video drop a like if you enjoyed watching Till next time, this is OHD Pair and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. And you can see at the end. And you can see at the end.